hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with Super Fed K on GTA 5. Uh, runs into a little bit of traffic and in trying to go round it, uh, ramps off a planter, bounces off a wall and manages to roll his bullet GT. That's quite an impressive, well done for managing to roll your vehicle there. Equally, well done to the AI that managed to roll their vehicle at the same time around the corner. It's, uh, it's a good day when so many cars are rolling. Suzuki Blaze first of all notices two cars doing a weird laggy thing across the bridge, but there is the uh, kamikaze thing that's gone to space further up ahead that has ruined the day of uh, some SUV there. Mustang Bugatti is uh, playing around with the cinematic cameras, was expecting him to drive into something. He did, however, the uh, quad bike, rather than launching the character, does a pretty impressive flip, so uh, well done there. Invisible AK-47 is trying to run away from the police, and we have seen how useless the police are most times on GTA 5, but today they're actually working together. He tries to go for a gap, there's a police car right behind him so he couldn't really stop and in doing so gets his car wedged. The policemen use their vehicle as it's sort of a blockade and get out in time to shoot him. That is some properly good teamwork from the GTA 5 police. Uh, Farful Fred on GTA 5 as well is uh, trying to make his way into the airport, bounces off the side of the skip at very low speeds and manages to beach his G-Wagon. Uh, of all of the things I have seen done at uh, that ramp trying to get into the airport, that is perhaps the most pathetic. Uh, just slow speed bump and get it started. even rolls off the wrong way. Lukey Skywalker on Need for Speed Most Wanted is playing around with the ramps when he finds some very sticky concrete. I think it may have, may have just been set because the, the Raptor is not too keen on, well, moving really. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Completely stuck on that uh, central reservation. We've done a full, uh, oh, we could have done a full 360 and back the other way. The game eventually decides that it's a crash. Don't mess around with the concrete, I think, is the uh, the answer there. Last Venator on Watch Dogs has spotted a police car that is doing some peculiar things on the left there. It seems to have installed a blink module, but it's not really working very effectively. Well, I mean, it's blinking effectively, not really doing a very good job of slowing anything down, bumps into an AI car, it kind of lags backward. <laughs> no idea what the police car is doing, and then we bump into a truck and against a concrete wall, and that sends the fire engine sliding, and the police car has vanished. Yeah, Watchdogs police are, uh, are definitely cheating. White Moogow on the crew has spotted a train. Now, you're all expecting what's to happen when we bump into the train. And though he goes for a little bit of a nudge, doesn't really do anything, heads towards a tree, and then Physics decides to catch up to, I think, about 400 miles an hour. The Celine got fired at just momentarily before it hit something. Yeah, <laughs> good old crew. Inferno the Fox on Hardware Rivals is shooting down an enemy vehicle, hits the wreck, and we go for a double roll and almost gets it stuck on that uh, large structure there. A uh, double roll is always impressive as the tank comes flying past. Uh, can't go wrong with, uh, with a double roll. Seventh Hand on Need for Speed 2015 has spotted a Lamborghini that uh, he fancies going for a race with. The Lamborghini sets off. He sets off in pursuit with the Corvette and immediately the race is over as uh, another player coming the other way. That might be the shortest race in history. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long for them to find another car to crash into. Hyper Blue WRX, also on Need for Speed, uh, tries to take a shortcut. The game doesn't really want him going across the grass there. And the poor Porsche just gets fired up into the air. Keyhole on Dirt Rally is uh, racing at Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo is a very, very challenging rally event with its mixture of surfaces incredibly narrow. And as he pushes the luck a little too much, grazes the inside that puts him wide, grazes the car and then Austin powers it between a couple of crash barriers. Yeah, not a good day for the for the Citroen there. Emperor Al Hero on Dirt Rally goes for a <laughs> run a little wide, clips a rock, and we have another double roll, this time off of one of the uh, kind of little uh, top bit. I can never remember what the things are called, but uh, well done for the, uh, for the roll. Nerdy Nordic on Race 07 runs his Chevrolet a little bit wide, tries to keep his foot down and get back on the track smoothly. Didn't realise there was a bump there. And the poor, the poor Chevrolet does many, many flips. That was a huge tumble. That was a massive tumble. As we watch it from the uh, AI car, I assume, that was uh, following him. Yeah, he, run, he runs wide, keeps his foot down, and then just fires. <laughs> Once the front of the car hits the ground, that was a, a mighty, mighty flip. 
Zombie Cheese on Just Cause 3 has uh, got the front end of a cargo plane sort of stuck on top of the bridge, was using a boat to uh, pull it down successfully, gets the nose off, but it's kind of slightly vanished, he looks around a little bit confused, the boat's exploded, and then realises the cargo plane bit is, is having some problems with water. I think it might possibly be allergic to the water, because as soon as it touches it, it absolutely soars. Now that is some serious height that, that it has got to. It does start uh, coming back down again. That was it was a very very impressive bounce. Thing is, it keeps going. Every time the the, uh, the nose touches the water, it just gets fired higher and higher. This time around, it actually does land on the beach, rolls its way into the water, and we're off again. This went on for quite a while. There's quite a few different uh, bounces, but uh, yeah, apparently the nose cone of the other giant planes not too fond of the water. And finally, Drex125 on Metal Gear Solid 5 is uh, trying to sneak his way around the enemy base. The thing is, they have a special prototype truck that will notice when you're sneaking around. <laughs> it is definitely cheating. That is, that is the most cheaty truck I think I have ever seen. Uh, <laughs> driving around sideways. Fantas uh, this is one of my favourite clips. It's just fantastically timed and positioned. Uh, for <laughs> For poor Snake, not not a good day for him with his uh, sneaking through the base there. Anyway, that is uh, that is it for this episode. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. Find the Faris clip submission section right at the very top of the page, and all of the rules and how to submit them can be found in there. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Thank you.